Welcome back to If Only April. Do you have a newborn in your life? Are you pregnant yourself? Maybe you have a friend who is waiting for a baby. Anyways, so if you're in need of a nice, thoughtful DIY uh, baby present, I've got you. Today I want to present you wooden baby gym. I always get confused about this part. I mean, baby gym, really? <laughs> this baby really needs to work out, but anyways. So my friend is expecting a baby girl, and I thought that it was going to be such a nice, wonderful present to get her, uh, to give her for the baby shower. There's tons of baby gyms on the market, but you know what? Every time I look at them, they kind of like make me so anxious because they're all plastic, made out of this weird, brightest colors I've ever seen. So they give me a little bit of a headache. So what can we say about the baby, right? Do you want to hear the coolest part about it? It doesn't require too many tools. You can whip it up in a couple of hours and you can do it for less than $10. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. To make this one, you'll need one by four, eight feet long, need a dowel. Mine is uh, seven quarters and uh, by 48 but uh, you can go as thick or as thin as you want. This little hanging goodness, you'll need wooden rounds and uh, some sort of like beads and like some scrap wood, whatever is easier for you to find. Let's do it! First, we're gonna mark the two feet. And now to the fun part. I mean, uh, maybe it's not really fun, but I, I just like haven't done it before, so I'm very excited to try it. So to make the hole with this, what is it called? It's a hole saw. So yeah, let's try it. I really hope it's gonna work because <laughs> it looks a bit intimidating, but um, so yeah. So if you don't have uh, the drill at home, you can always ask the Home Depot guys to just drill the holes before, for you. That's what I did with my previous one, the one that I made like three years ago. The guys are so nice and so helpful and they're always like willing to help the lady or man <laughs> to, to drill a hole, you know? So yeah, let's just do it. Okay, now looking at this hole, I kind of regret that I did it and um, honestly, <laughs> I wish I actually asked the Home Depot guys to do it because look at this. This is not a pretty hole at all. And how do you take this thing out? Try it again. Uh, okay, second hole is so much better, you see? Practice makes it perfect. Practice makes perfect. The guys. Um, yeah, it still has a little bit of splinters, but do you know what I did differently? I went from one side and then I turned around and went from another side. So this way didn't make a splinter. Look at this, perfection, almost. Okay, so the holes are ready and uh, we also, what we also need to do is like to make the uh, 23 degrees cut, you know, like so when you get to spread the legs, <laughs> spread the legs like this, um, you see, it's going to be stable. It's going to be stable on the floor. Now four boards are ready, now we're going to go and sand it.
you ever find yourself in the situation that you need to find the baby present, you can always make this. This. It can be perfect for the small spaces because you can easily just pick it up and it's gonna fold into one line and you can just, it doesn't take much space. Looks amazing, aesthetically pleasing and yeah, it's just pure perfection if you ask me. <laughs> if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Till next time guys! Can I pretend that I'm a baby and just like jumping, let in and lay down there? Oh, that